London to Sunrise on Saturday the 17th of April. Our top stories, a third day of cancellations and frustrations for thousands of passengers as British airspace is closed until 1 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll have the latest live from Iceland and across Europe as volcanic ash causes chaos. Also this morning, the leaders debate and blows the election race wide open as a new poll puts the Lib Dems ahead of Labour. Toyota's safety target continues as it's forced to recall 600,000 minivans. In sport, bragging rights on offer because it's Derby Day in the Premier League with Manchester City playing Man United. And Lions in Limbo, how a circus fan has affected the future of countless animals. So our top story this morning, thousands of people facing another day of misery as a cloud of volcanic ash continues to cause travel chaos. In the last half an hour, restrictions to all UK airspace have been extended again, leaving more than a million British passengers stranded. The AA have advised those who due to fly today not to travel to airports. Those restrictions uh, for UK airspace and Northern Ireland have now been closed until 1 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's the very earliest. Current forecasts show the situation is continuing to worsen throughout the day. NAT, the people in charge of air traffic control and the Met Office, are continuing to review the situation. We're expecting the next update 4 o'clock this afternoon, we understand. Ryanair have cancelled all their flights until 1 o'clock Monday afternoon. Switzerland, Belgium and Paris have grounded flights until 7 o'clock UK time tonight. Germany's Lufthansa airline has also grounded activity until then. The Australian airline Qantas has cancelled flights to Europe because of the situation. Also the latest we're just getting through from various news agencies. Reuters saying that Ukraine's Kiev and three other airports are closing the flights because of the ash from the volcano. Belarus has closed airspace. Um, from the Icelandic volcano, according to their aviation authority. And we're also hearing that Danish airspace has mm. closed until 1 o'clock in the morning, UK time, tomorrow.